Hi, let's see this hardware module which is TF Robots Permian BLE Sensor Beacon module. You can see here the wiki, wiki page of this uh, module which is given by TF Robot. On wiki page of TF Robot, you will get this all information about this module. We are going to see this module. So, here, here the BLE Permian BLE Sensor Beacon. Here BLE stands for Bluetooth Low Energy. So it is a Bluetooth Low Energy Sensor Beacon module. This is the module and let's see about it. So here they have given it is a wireless beacon that broadcasts sensor data via Bluetooth. It has a built-in 11-bit ADC acquisition and I2C read functionality. So it can be connected to digital or analog sensors, I2C sensors for data acquisition and for broadcasting the sensor data which is uh, data acquisition by the sensor uh, beacon module it is then broadcasted by the beacon and can be accessed within broadcast uh, beacons broadcast range using mobile phones or esp32 or any other devices that supports ble reception so this module Fermion BLE sensor beacon integrates low power Bluetooth 5.3 technology with self configurable data formats such as iBeacon, Edistone is user defined, and more. The data formats of this uh, beacon uh, broadcast, the content of broadcast, and broadcast interval, and so on can be configured through graphical interface. You don't need any without any need of any code programming or complete uh, Bluetooth beacon. So they have given the tool graphical interface tool to configure this module and its beacon format after the configuration is completed when the power is given to this module this module will uh, starts uh, automatically collecting the sensor data whichever is sensor you connected to this module then it broadcasts to the outside world according to the configuration you provided so where this module can be used it is suitable for iot sensor nodes such as in smart homes smart farms offices factories warehouses and other scenarios in the data collection node so this module is used as a wireless data collection node or wireless sensor node so let me give you one scenario here so here suppose we have to uh, we have to install one iot based mode smart home automation or smart home system in a house so there will be one main iot controller and there will be different actuators and sensors around this uh, rooms like living room bedroom gallery dining area kitchen so in kitchen you uh, you have installed suppose you have installed temperature and humidity sensor in gallery in plants you have installed uh, used this uh, soil moisture sensor in bedroom you have uh, ambient light sensor so how you can communicate all these uh, parameters to the main iot hub control so there are two ways you can connect it through wires or wireless if you connect through wires there will be complexity and uh, cost overhead to connecting and uh, to the main IoT hub controller there is also one uh, another approach so you can connect it to any microcontroller which has an inbuilt ADC and Wi-Fi capability so all these sensors which uh, measures the physical parameters like uh, temperature humidity soil moisture ambient light pressure these are sensors analog or digital sensor you can make this sensor as a wireless data collection node or wireless sensor using this uh, approach like you can connect it to the microcontroller and which has ADC it will connect uh, convert the analog signals into digital and then it will broadcast via wireless technology like Wi-Fi Bluetooth Zigbee so what if all these uh, features microcontroller ADC and, e, and uh, uh, Wi-Fi or wireless technology comes in a one module. So this is the module which we are going to see It has a Bluetooth capability Wireless capability then it has an inbuilt 11-bit ADC acquisition I2C retract functionality. So let me show you the 
brain or heart of this uh, module which is the uh, SOC nano beacon SOC 100 chip it is a system on chip you can see its system block diagram here so this chip is used as a main brain of this module which is Permian BLE sensor beacon module so you can see here in system block diagram this module it has a 2.4 gigahertz compliant Bluetooth uh, compliant protocol so it has a Bluetooth low energy capability as well as all the microcontroller features plus it has a inbuilt ADC and you can see there are communication interfaces like UART, one wire I2C so you can connect analog digital sensor as well as I2C sensor plus you can program this uh, or configure this uh, chip using uh, via UART serial UART so these all features are available on this IN100 SOC which is used to build this module so let me show you that block diagram again so this is the our scenario now suppose if we installed our Permian BLE sensor beacon in this smart home project smart home application and if we interface all the sensors like temperature humidity soil moisture light sensor to the this uh, Permian BLE sensor beacon it will collect uh, data of this all sensor and send it to the main IoT controller here we can use a microcontroller which is capable of BLE reception like ESP32 and we can make all this uh, project or all this smart home wireless using BLE technology so we are going to see that project in our next article which is smart home application of the DF robots Fermion BLE sensor beacon here we have connected uh, sensors like analog sensors like soil moisture smoke and light sensor then I2C sensors temperature humidity sensor to the Fermion BLE sensor beacon this module then this module will convert these all physical parameters uh, to the digital and then broadcast it over BLE we will use higher vital 2 ESP32 development board which has a Bluetooth low energy reception capability it will receive that packet broadcasted by the sensor beacons and it will then uh, use its Wi-Fi capability to broadcast it over or to send it over cloud and we can also uh, use our actuators to control the environment using other uh, like lighting air conditioner air quality man, uh, maintenance etc and we can monitor all this uh, smart home application uh, using cloud or internet application uh, mobile application so we'll see this project so you uh, you are, you will have understand uh, you may have understand what where this uh, Permian BLE sensor module application can be used now let's see get back to the wiki page of this uh, module and let's see specification so here they have given that uh, this module can be powered by CR2032 coin cell battery so you can see this type of cells you can use to power this battery so this uh, module is low power you can power it uh, using coin cell battery so there is one also feature that it has a two I2C two independent I2C interfaces to acquire sensor data so you can uh, connect two I2C sensors as well as six configurable GPIOs so you can connect analog sensors as well as I2C sensors so then next is uh, you have to use to program uh, to configure as we have mentioned earlier they have given a tool that is graphical interface configuration tool to configure this module uh, its broadcast beacons and interval etc all this IDC functionality so that tool used to program or flash this uh, module via serially that uh, for that we need uh, one serial 3.3 volt USB to serial tool so they have given here Permian BLE sensor beacon need to be configured using 3.3 volt USB to TTL tool 
so let me show you so this kind of uh, serial adapter models these are 3.3 volt usb to ptl serial adapter models you can use these models to program this uh, sensor beacon so just uh, use 3.3 volt side because this sensor beacon have 3.3 volt tolerant io pins all right now we will get back to this section in a minute but before that let's see the specifications so this module operating voltage has a 3.3 volt you can see it is can operatable at 1.0 volt to 3.6 volt then operating current then standby current you can see the supported sensors are digital analog and i2c uh, input signals are digital analog and i2c operating band is 2.4 gigahertz ism band modulation is gfxa gfsk gaussian frequency shift keying gfsk then transmit power is 5 plus 5 dbm etc so you can uh, get all this information on this wiki page let's go to the forward and see the pinout so here is the pinout there are different pins of, for this uh, sensor beacon module to connect the sensors and power supply and programming so they have given all description of these pins you can see section wise here is the section one is for serial burning serial port burning area to program the uh, this uh, sensor beacon configure we have to connect it to the usb to serial ttl module let me show you the circuit diagram so you can see you can use 3.3 volt usb to ttl serial adapter module like this they have given this section section one is vcc ground io 0 io 1 those are rx and tx pins which are 3.3 volt tolerant so we have to use this 3.3 volt usb to ttl serial adapter model in this way so rx pin goes to tx pin of this fermion ble sensor beacon tx pin of usb serial adapter model goes to rx pin of this uh, fermion ble sensor beacon and you can connect 3.3 volt and ground here so this this whole assembly is for connecting pc for programming or configuration to burn the program or configuration into this uh, module then other pins you can see there are i2c pin section 2 is for i2c pins here you can connect i2c sensors so there are two power modes one is uh, point serial powered and another is dynamic powered you can use either mode uh, when you use battery this type of battery coin cell battery lithium cell 3 volt so it will get inserted in this area battery socket and it will uh, give uh, V bat as a this V bat pin will used to power the external uh, sensors we uh, connect to this i2c or analog uh, pins so to power the sensor you can use V bat V bat or, or or you can also use uh, dynamic power control then you can connect as we have seen you can connect digital and analog sensors so this section is 4 let me show you so this is the section 4 you can connect here all pins io pins uh, most of the io pins are uh, configurable so you can use them but the pin number io6 let me show you pin number io6 is recommended for analog sensor because this pin has a inbuilt a built-in voltage divider so it is recommended for analog sensors just remember this we are going to use this pin to connect ambient light sensor and smoke sensor in our project so this is the io6 pin then another if you want if you need a pull up resistor you can use this section 5 pads so these are pads you can use this pads holder it them to enable the pull up resistor section then there is a battery socket to insert the cr uh, 20 30 to 3 volt battery so this is all uh, physical and pinout specification of this module now let's go forward and see the uh, they have given the tutorial how you can convert uh, the digital analog sensors data into bluetooth ple broadcasting so how you can interface digital analog sensors to this ble sensor beacon module they have given all requirements configuration tools etc you can 
go through this wiki for more details we will uh, give a short overview and tutorial uh, we will connect our uh, ambient light sensor to this uh, sensor beacon so let me show you the circuit diagram so here is the configuration diagram and here is the circuit diagram for connecting the ambient light sensor module so here we have connected analog signal this is an ambient light sensor it has a two pins uh, for powering vcc 3 volt which is came from uh, vbat which we have discussed earlier then this is the analog output pin which we are going to connect io6 pin which is a uh, recommended for connecting analog and digital sensor which it has a inbuilt voltage divider so we will use this circuit diagram and this configuration diagram to uh, configure this uh, PLE sensor beacon module to connect the ambient light sensor it will uh, collect the data from this ambient light sensor and broadcast over BLE beacon so let's see let's get back to the wiki page here they have given tutorial so what we will require hardware and software to configure this module for configuration so their hardware is requirement is first we will require Permian BLE sensor beacon module then we will require 3.3 volt USB to TTL converter this one or similar kind of this one just remember to use 3.3 volt logic uh, for this type of controller uh, this type of serial adapter you will have a jumper here you have to place this jumper on 3.3 volt logic just remember that then uh, next you will require one sensor here uh, analog sensor here they have used LM35 temperature sensor but we are going to use ambient light sensor then you will require one PC with uh, operating system whichever you have then you will require ESP32 development board because this board has a wireless uh, Bluetooth reception capability which we have seen here so ESP32 and devices which support PLE reception so we need that to uh, verify that this BLE sensor either is sending uh, ambient light data or not. We can also check that on mobile app or in software section they have recommended the mobile app that is Nano Beacon BLE Scanner. You can see here is the link to download that. You can install it in from your Google Play or from Apple Store as per your uh, a smartphone then we need we uh, this is the tool which we have discussed earlier this is the graphical interface tool to configure the beacon which is a nano beacon config tool you can get this tool download from you can get this link here and this is the link so they have you can see here this is a in play the same uh, company which is uh, we have seen the SOC so they have given this tool nano beacon BLE scanner and nano beacon BLE config tools here they have given for other OSs like Windows Linux you can uh, download is as per your platform and download the this, uh, subsequent uh, device driver here USB to your driver so we have already downloaded this let me show you so here so this is the nano beacon config tool you can see here you will extract this file you will get this folder nano beacon config tool go into that folder according to your operating system like windows 7 and all you can go to that folder we have windows 10 then we will go to this folder nano beacon tools so let me show you here down here you will get this tool .exe file just double click on that will open that uh, tool graphical interface tool to configure this module so here is the tech tool you can use this uh, graphical user interface you can see all these uh, different settings like uh, ADC I2C GPIOs you can configure all these settings using this here you can see UART section because we are connecting this uh, beacon sensor via UART to program or flash we'll see all this uh, in detail let's get back to the wiki page here so 
here are the requirements which we seen now let's see how we can configure so we have uh, connected in this way let me show you my connection here let me go to the next section so I will show you my connection how I connected the ambient light sensor and uh, USB to TTL serial adapter module to configure this uh, module so first let's connect to the phone So here you can see okay now you can see here okay now you can see here I have connected this BLE sensor beacon module so this type of module BLE sensor beacon so I have inserted one coin battery cell into it. You can see here this type of coin battery, uh, coin cell battery, 3 volt. I have inserted into that. Then I have connected this uh, USB to serial adapter module. And I have also connected one ambient light sensor here. You can see. So I have connected all this connection. And then we will connect this to. PC using USB cable which I have connected here. Alright, now this is all connection. Now let's get back to the uh, main screen. So here I have uh, you can see I have installed a BLE nano beacon scanner here. This application, mobile application, you will get this application on play store or app store as per your operating system on smartphone now let's get back to the our wiki page now let's get back to the wiki page here so i have shown my setup here like this you will get all the schematics of this setup on github okay now let's configure this module so there are two types of sensor we can connect here digital analog sensor and i2c sensor so we'll uh, see both the configuration they have given stepwise here you can see they have given stepwise procedure how you can configure the advertising section data all this with screenshots so you can refer this as well as you can uh, uh, refer this video so I will recommend you can ref uh, you should ref uh, refer this wiki now get back to the upper section where they have uh, warning so what is they have there are two types of configuration modes let me show you okay so you can uh, either run in RAM mode there are two modes and uh, run in RAM modes and burn program mode so let me show you what these are modes. So here you can see the non I2C sensors can be tested by running RAM modes. So what are non I2C sensors? Analog and digital sensor. So you can test this non I2C sensor in running RAM modes because this um, running RAM mode you can use it indefinitely without programming. So you this mode is a permanent mode burn in program mode burn or program mode. this mode is permanent once you click on this burn and program mode the configuration whichever you whichever configuration you have uh, set here it will get permanently flashed into your sensor beacon so you uh, you must take care here to first configuration should be correct before you click on this burner program so here one uh, one feature here the uh, non i2c sensors analog or digital sensor can run in ram mode this mode 
so this mode can be test mode and you can uh, run it indefinitely on uh, this uh, sensor beacon module but for i2c sensor you have to, you cannot use run in ram mode you have to use burn our program mode let me show you what they have done so if the module is bricked up after burning due to wrong configuration file dear robot will not provide after self service so the module can only be burned once please don't click burn program to uh, burn before configuration information is confirmed so they have given that non i2c sensor can be tested in ram mode before burning in run in ram mode and can be used indefinitely once you uh, tested it that non i2c sensors like analog digital sensors in ram mode and you think that the, the, that configuration is correct then you can use uh, run in uh, burn mode for non i2c sensor but for i2c sensor i will uh, recommend you should download the configuration file given by df robot so you can they have given here the note i2c sensors do not support run in ram test it can only be burned directly so it is recommended to directly use the sensor configuration file provided by df robot so to use this i2c sensor for which profile is not provided so where this sample sample configuration file you will find on the github page here we have given github page here you will get sensor configuration files here you can see different sensor here like sgp 40 SHT 40 we are going to use SHT 40 sensor configuration file so here is the configuration file CFG file we'll use that to you program or configure the SHT 40 based uh, uh, sensor beacon just uh, go this go to this link and then you can download this configurations and choose whichever configuration you need so we have already downloaded this let me show you So this is the file in that you may go to I will show you the SHT 40 sensor. This is the file configuration. So this configuration file you can load from here. You can see configuration, you can save configuration or load configuration like that. so for non-I2C sensors you can run in uh, RAM or use run in RAM mode and for I2 sensors I recommend you should download the configuration file. Uh, related to your i2c sensor and then load it and then use burn program mode because for i2 sensor you cannot use run in ram mode the test mode is not available for i2c sensors test mode is only available to analog and digital sensor you can test them in a ram and then burn them okay now let's get back to the wiki page here so this is all information which is very important module will get bricked if you uh, burn wrong file into it so just remember to uh, recheck what you configured in this tool here okay yeah they have given another uh, note the module can only be burned once do not click burn our program before confirming the confirmation information configuration information you can test the module by running ram mode indefinitely before burning so there is one also one cache uh, just remember that the power which is weak q1 which you are going to give you that is cr 2030 coin cell battery which should be installed in running ram mode so it should be installed here in running RAM mode because the RAM mode it's just like our RAM in computers so computers or any microcontroller or processors like RAM uh, the data in RAM will get erased when the power is cut off so if there is a no power RAM mode configuration will not get saved so you have to use uh, sense uh, you have to use coin cell battery I have shown in my uh, settings that I have installed that battery as well as I have connected the uh, USB to TTL serial converter. So in pinout you can see power is given from here and battery is also given here. 
uh, as long as power is connected via this VCC and ground, which is we are providing via this uh, USB to serial adapter module, you can see this uh, power will uh, connected to this Permian BLE sensor as long as you uh, you connected this USB to serial adapter module to PC. Once you remove the connection, if you do not uh, configure, if you do not install uh, coin cell battery here. The configuration will get uh, erased like uh, it get erased when we remove the power so here they have given that let me show you okay note run here the module can only be burned once which we have seen earlier you can test module by running RAM mode. It can be used unlimited times. But before you burn, second, before you run second run in RAM or test. So if you run one run in RAM test for one sensor, and it is a, uh, it, uh, you have installed the coin battery cell, it will run indefinitely until the cell has coin cell battery has a power. So. If you want to run another sensor, so you can uh, program another configuration for this uh, analog and digital sensors when you use run in RAM mode. So if you want to co program uh, configure this module for another sensor, you have to uh, remove the battery. So you have to completely power up both VCC and coin cell battery to remove the configuration. But if you use burn in program mode, then the configuration will completely uh, flashed into it permanently so let's see now this is the configuration tool now let's connect our uh, usb to ttl converter to pc for that let's go to the device manager here okay now as we connect here you can see the com port will get populated here Okay, COM34. So we have connected to COM34 now using USB to serial converter. Now let's get back to this tool. So how you can uh, let me show you. Okay. So here step one is advertising. Now we have downloaded and run the BNE config tool.exe. Now we have opened it. Now here these are steps you can see we will step uh, we will use uh, steps one by one all right we are going uh, just remember we are using digital analog sensor configuration okay they have also given i2c configuration down here let me show you okay they have also given i2c sensor tutorial so we will connect both the sensors I will show you now let's configure for analog ambient light sensor the first step is advertising before that you have to connect the module to this configuration tool so here the UART section so we have seen that we have connected to COM34 now you have to, you have to click on this probe button so you, as soon as you click on probe port got copy populated here and baud rate is 115200 by default it's uh, get uh, here now let's click on connect button when you connect you will get this message that successfully connected to the device if you do not get connected successfully then you have to let me show you you have to check your connection here. rx tx tx rx and power now let's configuration so here these are all tools these are our configuration now let's get one by one so we are going to first advertising section here advertising set one. click on this edit button here in edit button the advertising data section tab go to custom tab here click on settings here in settings custom advertising setting go to complete local name here you have to give proper name to your sensor beacon 
so we are going to use embed light sensor that's why i have given name ple light beacon this name will uh, we have we will this name is a unique name for your sensor beacon this name will you will get uh, on ble scanner app as well as from uh, for esp32 so just keep a unique and proper name then click on here manufacturer specific data okay click on it here manufacturer specific id don't uh, change it if you don't know anything about it then click on this edit button this is paid data which we are going to broadcast so click on here a here manufacturer specific data you have to click here in this section drop down we are going to use adc on channel 2 so let me show you okay they have given this we have okay now in custom settings then in custom settings here they have given name manufacture specific data then edit then here so why we have selected ch2 let me show you so we are going to connect our sensor to io6 and we are going to use channel 2 of adc so that's why we used here drop down and channel 2 and big endian tick, tick tick on this big endian then click on this append to data so you will get this okay now click on ok this is the configuration okay now click on ok so advertising data is over now advertising parameters tab in advertising parameters tab tab you have to set the advertising interval so how much you broadcast timing one second here they have given one second i will put it one second uh, delay uh, for each one second the packet will be sent so here then the address the public address click on this option bluetooth device address you can change the address i will keep it as it is then i will click ok now again in advertising mode so i have we have configured advertising data we have configured advertising parameters like advertising interval and public address then the advertising mode which is uh, by default in continuous advertising we will keep that as it is you can use triggered but uh, just to use continuous advertising as they have given default configuration now click on ok so we have configured now advertising mode ok advertising interval public address now adc ok so click on this adc tab here we are going to channel 2 adc channel 2 mgpio mgio mpgio 6 pin which you have seen earlier click on this enable tick here then click on edit button the, this is adc channel 2 mgpio 6 so here so unit mapping is what you can see here or read here what is unit mapping so they have given detailed information what is adc and what is unit mapping and for this soc system on chip that is in 100 in data sheet they have got uh, configured and they have given our values here you can see uh, you have to put it 0 0.001 2.898 and 0.828 here for zero and uh, that is logical low and logical high so let me show you here you have to put 0 0.001 net one then value of 1.4 is 2.898 and for value 0 0.4 is 0 0.828 0 0.01 2.898 
zero point eight two eight. Other values are two and six as it is. We will keep it as it is. Okay. Okay. Then click on OK. Here none is selected. And then click on OK. Okay. Now computation is completed. All right. Now uh, this ADC computation is completed. Now go to GPI. Here is the GPIO section. Here GPIO. We are going to use MGPIO6 pin, which is already set as analog because we are going to connect analog sense. You can drop, uh, drop down here and select if it is not yet selected. Click on analog here. Now GPIO is selected here. Now crystal matching capacitance. Let me show you where that is. Here, uh, that is in RF test. This tab here, internal capacitor core. You have to put here 12 as they have given here. Let me show you. Okay, 12. And in exo setting, exo setting, you have to put same value. That is internal capacitor core. Internal capacitor core here. Okay, in RF test as well as in this exo setting. This is the EXO tab. Go here and click here and place 12 value. Okay, now this is our configuration for analog sensor. Okay, you can check your configuration down here. Let me show you. So here is the configuration advertising set one ADC channel two. We are not using I to C, and in GPIOs we are using MGPIO six pin. So this is all configuration. So we have connected our hardware then you can check your uh, pc connection which we have already checked we have already connected now here is the run test option now click on run in ram and pop up will appear when it's done so note module can be only be burned once i will uh, read this note again they have given uh, repeatedly there you should do not uh, run configuration which is not uh, given by them otherwise the module will get bricked up do not click burn and program directly burn confirming the co before confirming configuration you can test run in ram mode the analog sensors you can run in ram mode let me show you here is the run in ram mode so we are connected run in ram mode we will first test this in a practical if the module beacon sensor beacon is sending the analog data analog light data correctly then we can use burn more program otherwise you will only use run in ram test so now you can click on this uh, configuration is correct now you can click on this to burn or uh, run the test in ram mode then click on ok so we can see the program or configuration is sent to the ram of sensor now click on ok here so now configuration is sent via usb to your connection to permian BLE sensor beacon we have connected this analog ambient light sensor so what we have uh, configured we have configured analog signal which of uh, uh, light ambient light will get to permian BLE sensor beacon the ADC will convert that analog signal in equivalent digital and then broadcast it. So we have configured that in this configure with control. Now whatever that signal configuration broadcasted format, frame format, we will get that broadcasted beacon. So for that we have to use a really reception device or our mobile phone to capture that. So let's go to the our mobile to check the configuration is broadcasting or not so here is that MBL scanner app now you have to click on this uh, play button here 
so once you play click on this play button you will get your uh, daily beacon data populated here you can see so, so here is the BLE light beacon the name which we have given then you will see all the data like uh, RSSI signal strength then the interval then manufacturer ID which we have given and this is the manufacturer data this is the data of light and bent light which are, which are uh, uh, tra getting transferred or broadcasted over BLE we are receiving on our uh, it, we are receiving it on our, our smartphone so you can see here now I will show now light is uh, this is the digital or hex data I will show if I cover the sensor with any object you will get value 0 here you can see is it working or not now see I have covered a sensor with a black object and bent light sensor you can see light data is getting zero now I if I remove the covered uh, uh, or covered object sensor the value will get increase here now, light value you can see manufacture data now I will cover again Zero. Now, this is uh, we are <coughs> using this to scan the BLE scanner app. We are using this to scan the beacon. Now we will use ESP32 development board, which is has a BLE reception capability to receive this packet and then decode it in ambient light. Uh, what ambient light level in this room? So you can see all these parameter we have configured in <coughs> our config tool like I will show here we have given the name PLE light beacon which is appearing here local name then manufacturer ID here okay so this is our advertising configuration now <coughs> let me see let me show you here we have already connected to this UART via UART. Now we are powering this model via UART. Now we will disconnect this. Now suppose if you have not installed the coin cell battery and you remove the power, then all this configuration will go on and you will not receive this beacon. But I have installed the coin cell battery already. So if I remove the power, you will still get the values here. You can see. Now let's use the our ESP32 board to receive the different uh, packets sent by this BLE sensor beacon. Light data that let's put the code so here is the code for embed light sensor reception of BLE now I will connect my PSP32 development board to the PC okay this is the uh, sensor code uh, sensor BLE reception code you will get this code. We have also given this code on this picture. Let me show you. And you can see all this information which you have already seen now. So, ESP get data on this code. They have given the code. So, they have given for uh, LM35 sensor. But we have converted it into getting the ambient light data here. Just we have just mapped the voltage level into percentage of light. So here is the code. Now we'll run that code. Let me show you the hardware again.
ओके ये इज द हार्डवेयर कैन सी हियर द हार्डवेयर हियर इज द लाइट सेंसर नाउ आई हैव डिसकनेक्टेड द केबल दिस यूएसबी टू टीटीएल केबल एंड आई हैव कनेक्टेड आवर यूएसबी टू आई बी टेल यूएसबी टू द कंप्यूटर डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड टू रिसीव द डेटा सो हियर इज द ऑल हार्डवेयर now code is getting flashed into esp32 can see all the code will get flashed here in esp32 all right <clears throat> now code has been flashed have been flashed into esp32 so now let's see the serial port monitor okay now you can see pli reception uh, esp32 development board is receiving the pli beacon data you can see light percentage and light level you can see all okay now let's let me show you the if i place one object on the sensor you will get here light low and now i have placed the object on the sensor you will get light percentage zero you can see here now it is showing light percentage zero light level is low now i will remove the object on sensor you will get light percentage again okay light percentage light light is okay light points now i will place it again now light is low again i will remove and light will go up now Yes, light percentage. Is okay. So in this way, you can use this PLE scanner app and Nano Config tool to configure this PLE sensor beacon for ambient light sensor or any analog lights analog sensor. Now we will see for I2C sensor. So I will show the I2C sensor configuration to you now. So I have already programmed or flashed SHT4 key configuration into I2C uh, into uh, my PLE beacon sensor module. Let me show you that wiki page here. So here is the I2C tutorial. So they have given all this information: what hardware require, what software require, and the configuration steps here. but i have not used that steps i have used the configuration file they have given here sample configuration file on this link i have downloaded that let me show you so here is that file in that uh, folder which i have downloaded from here and i have loaded that configuration here can load it from here load you can click on load and then you can configuration you can browse the configuration so likewise you can load the configuration i have used this uh, loading uh, configuration or sample file file or i2c sensor because i don't want to break the my module so you can use uh, if you want to learn more 
let me show you that they have given all the data here how you can configure i2c sensor like advertising data just we have say you we have seen in earlier in analog sensor data configuration so all that you can give name sht 14 likewise the manufacturer specific data here so you have to select i2c then all this configuration here public data so you have to first uh, test the sht 40 sensor using this code then all this so you have to use i2c commands here let me show you okay on this configuration where you select your i2c pins you will get all this configuration uh, screenshots and information on this link you can refer it so these are all commands i2c command you have to configure using this i2c uh, section of this nano beacon configuration so you can configure in this way so this is the circuit diagram for connecting to hardware now let me show you how i con how i connected it So here you can see it is my humidity temperature SHD40 which I have connected with this PLE sensor beacon model on I2C pins here. Okay. All right now we have to power it using coin battery cell here I will place that cell into this and the sensor beacon will start broadcasting the sequences uh, the packets of uh, temperature and humidity sensing over Bluetooth and we will see that on our BLE scanner app so let's get back to the BLE scanner app Let's first power on it. I will place this. Okay, I have installed the battery. You can see humidity temperature sensor. Now we will see this in a BLE scanner app. So now we will receive two different packets one is for BLE light and another one is for SHT40 temperature sensor so give some time to sensor to acquire the data get the data sensor from I2C sensor and then it will uh, make a packet of that temperature and humidity and then it uh, broadcast over the BLE so it will appear here okay. you can see it is appearing but it is not showing here no can we apply filter okay now here is the SST40 you can see now it is showing okay now you can see you can you are getting this data right okay. it is getting disappeared I don't know what the problem is as problem or not let me go to our code of SHT40. So here is the code of SHT40 temperature and humidity sensor. We will use this code and dump it, uh, flash into our ESP32 development board, which we have already connected to our PC. And let's see if we are getting temperature or humidity data or not. So, 
let's do that and humidity data. Right. So this data is getting <coughs> broadcasted by SHT40 sensor interfaced with the BLE sensor beacon module from your BLE sensor beacon module. And we are getting that data. This is all about configuration of BLE sensor beacon for analog sensor and I2C sensor. You will get all this information core on this wiki page. Alright, in next article we will see about project. Of smart home application. Of DF robot for many sensor become audio. So thank you.